In the gospel text of today, we will hear the last of the seven parables in chapter 13 of Matthew's parable discourse. In it, Jesus speaks about a large net being cast into the sea and fish of every kind being drawn into that net. The fisherman makes no distinction at the time of drawing in between the good fish and the bad fish. It is only after the fish have been drawn in that the separation takes place and the good are retained while the bad are thrown out. The question is, who is this good fish and who is the bad fish? In the Gospel of Matthew, very clearly, the good fish are those who not merely say, Lord, Lord, who not merely verbalize prayers, who not merely mouth or recite prayers, but the one who, like Jesus, does God's will. And God's will is this. When one is in doubt, one does the most loving thing. God's will is this, that I act as much as is possible for the good of others and not only for myself. God's will is this, that I am concerned about the welfare of others as much as I am concerned about my own. And there are the bad fish which are thrown out. Who are these bad fish? As a matter of fact, it is those who merely recite prayers. It is those who merely mouth prayers. It is those who merely verbalize prayers and only say, Lord, Lord, and do nothing else. If they do not act on the prayers that they recite, if they do not act on calling Jesus Lord, then it is of no consequence whatever. The prayer is neither efficient nor efficacious. It remains at the verbal level. It remains at the theoretical level. It remains unheard. Because God will hear the prayers of those who act on their words. Because God acts always on his word. And he has shown that tangible action, that real action when he acted by sending Jesus. Jesus showed us what it means not only to hear and assimilate God's word, but to act on it as well. And this is the challenge of the parable of today. Will I act on God's word by being a little less selfish and a little more selfless today?